Mr. Heffern here, and here's a video on the force of gravity or weight. Okay, the force of gravity acts between two masses and forms an action gravity force and a reaction gravity force. Gravity is always attractive and has an infinite distance for reach. So technically, all objects in the universe are attracted to all other objects in the universe. So yes, that means your favorite Hollywood star is attracted to you. Luckily, gravity is very weak and only noticeable when near very massive objects such as planets, stars, or moons. Whew, that means you don't have to worry about getting a restraining order due to gravity anyway. So here we got a star like the sun attracting this uh, superhero over here. And the superhero will have the exact same amount of uh, attractive force on the star. But of course the star is huge, so it'll barely budge, or the superhero will definitely show some acceleration. Okay, the force of gravity is also called weight. Unfortunately, people confuse mass and weight and assume they are the same thing. It is very hard for people to break this habit when they start taking physics courses. See if you break this habit by the end of this course. Um, on average, I, I see about 50% of the people who take this course do not break the habit. So remember, weight can change with location, but mass is independent of location. So for example, this superhero has a mass of 120 kilos on the sun, on the earth, and on the baseball in the middle space somewhere. 120 kilos does not change with location, so the mass never changes. But this superhero does weigh 32,880 newtons on the sun. 1,176 newtons on the Earth, and 1.74 times 10 to the negative 10 newtons, or 0.174 nanonewtons, on this softball in the middle of nowhere. So, weight changes with location, mass does not. So the force of gravity or weight can be calculated using the following formula. Weight equals mass times g, where g is the acceleration due to gravity, or the gravitational force field strength. On Earth, G is around 9.8, and on the Moon, it's around 1.6. So, for example, this 60 kilo person, what do they weigh? On the Earth, I'm assuming. So, 60 kilos times 9.8 newtons per kilo, or meters per second squared, is 588 newtons. Or if you want the pounds, use 2.2 instead of 9.8. 60 times 2.2, 132 pounds. So, here's an example of a throwing problem when you throw something up or catch it coming down. So a person's going to throw a one kilo ball upwards. So they're going to toss it up from rest with 100 newtons of force. So the applied force is 100 newtons. And they're going to do this for 0.2 seconds. So find the acceleration and the release velocity of the ball. So we're going to assume up is positive and down is negative. So F equals MA. F is the sum of all the forces acting on the ball. And so if you take a look in the free body diagram, the um, Applied force, the force of the person, is 100 newtons up, and we got the force of gravity down. So it's two forces acting on the ball. Okay. So the F splits up to be force of the person, subtract the force of gravity, and the formula for the force of gravity is mg. So we're going to put that in right there. Oops. And so we're going to get 100 newtons, subtract 1 for the mass, 9.8 for g, equals 1 for the mass, a for acceleration. And when we solve it, we get an acceleration of 90.2 meters per second squared. So now that we've got the acceleration, we can use uh, the equations of motion. So we don't have displacement. We don't care about that one. So we're going to use this formula that does not use displacement. So we got final velocity subtract initial velocity equals acceleration times time. So final velocity subtract an initial velocity of 0 equals 90.2 acceleration times 0.2 seconds of time, and we get a final velocity of 18.04 meters per second, and if you multiply that by 3.6, you get 64.9 kilometers per hour. Okay, so just in a summary here, um, gravity is attractive. Everything is attracted to everything in the universe. However, gravity is extremely weak. It's actually the weakest force in the universe, and it's only noticeable near enormous objects like stars, planets, or moons. Okay. Weight is not mass. Remember, weight is not mass. It's wrong to say you weigh 100 kilos. That's wrong. That's your mass. And it's also wrong to say that your mass is 220 pounds. That's not true. That's your weight. 
Okay, but unfortunately, most people support this misconception or have it. So remember, weights in newtons or pounds and masses in kilos. And you got vertical problems. If an object is moving up or down, then gravity should be included in your solution somewhere. Okay. And I hope this helps with your understanding of the force of gravity or weight.